Okay, I'm super excited uh, about this, uh, what we're going to test out. This is gold wax medium for acrylics and um, as you know, I usually use uh, the cold wax medium for oils and uh, I have no idea how this works and if it works the same, but that's what we're going to test out. Um, I often get the, uh, the question about the acrylics and the cold wax medium, the one that uh, I use for oils, but they can't be mixed because acrylics are water-based and um, this one has solvent in it, so that, um, that doesn't mix very well then you will have a, an inst uh, unstable surface. So that, that's why I was quite excited to find a um, cold wax that is for um, acrylics. It's a water-based cold wax. I haven't even tried it. I just opened it, but I forgot to switch on the, the camera, so that's a bit of a pity. But it looks like this. And I'm discovering it like you. It's more like a cream. You see here, it's creamy. It doesn't really look like wax. Not like my... Um, oil cold wax, which has really uh, a much more waxy uh, appearance. Like here. It's more like butter. This is more like butter. This is more like cream. But we'll see what we can do. What I did is uh, I took my favorite color, the turquoise, and I mixed it with the titanium buff, the white and the black, like I use, uh, like I often do with um, oils, in oils. And then we will see if we can have the same effects with this water-based cold wax as we can have with the um, oil-based cold wax. I prepared a surface, oh, this is on the mixed media paper, and I just covered it with um, a bronze acrylics and I just stamped in some uh, texture with the bubble wrap and I um, can't remember other things just to create some textures. So what we will do now is mix this, well I will get rid of this cold wax so I won't make a mistake. And this is like I said, my very, very first time that I'm discovering this cool wax. Already I'm a bit disappointed about the uh, how thin it is. We will see. Maybe it needs more. I don't know about the drying time either, if it dries very fast or not. We're going to discover that as well. Okay, let's go. I guess you have to have a light touch. It is fun to try out because it can give uh, new possibilities for those who can't stand um, working in oils or can't stand the smell of oils. Thinner than I thought it would be. But maybe, I'm not sure, I can put some um, marble dust in it to get the thickness.
But even though I'm used to paint with coal wax and oils, it's the only thing I do. A new medium is always asks for new touches and Should dry already? Yes. Ah. That's different. I think you have to mix quite in so, so, uh, quite some um, wax because this one is a bit thicker than the other one. If it is dry quite fast, which I probably have to get used to. some um, stencil yeah I miss the resistance of the co wax it's really 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 creamy slippery and thin so I'm not sure if I can mix in the uh, marble dust that would be fun paper is buckling, buckling a little bit and um, this is mixed media bamboo paper I think it's quite thick so if anyone has already painted um, with gold wax and oils uh, gold wax and uh, acrylics on paper please maybe you can let me know which paper you used and if it worked well but probably it will flatten when it dries possibilities because you can add um, acrylic inks which probably is a super effect which you can't use um, with the cool wax uh, and oils you can use uh, alcohol ink but I tried it out and it dries rather flat I do have some stems. I'm just creating texture to see um, if I can have the same effects as um, with the other cold wax. I 
It probably depends on the paints as well because I used this Amsterdam paint. Um, I also bought the golden, so maybe I'll try that one, it's, but it's really fluid. And I didn't expect this to be um, fluid. I like this because it's thick. Okay, I've let it dry a little bit. It's still not dry everywhere. It doesn't dry very fast. And uh, I've taken out some collage and we'll just see what that does. I've taken out some inks, some pastels. Uh, I have to be careful not to uh, to throw everything in, uh, in at once, just to try out. But it doesn't have to be beautiful, it's just a try out. I don't like it that the paper buckles. But I think it will flatten once dry, but still I don't like that. We'll see if we can scribble with um, some soft pastel. It's not dry everywhere, it doesn't matter. I took different collage, you know, different um, papers, so we can see which one works best. I think with Cold Wax this one works best, the really thin on rice paper. I like this one too, but I'm not sure if it works, but we will try. We'll just take a small piece. And see if we can stick it with the uh, cold wax, like with the normal oil cold wax. And dry. I don't like, uh, I don't use a lot of collage in my work, but sometimes I like it, especially when it doesn't stand out too much. I think this stands out too much, this blends in, like with the uh, regular cool wax. Let's see how this dries. And then we will try one of these. Just a paper napkin. Let's see what that does. It's 
so that's nice. Yeah, it's like with the normal uh, oil cold wax. This blends in beautifully, this in paper. And this stands out too much, but maybe we can throw over some paint. I also have this powder, bronze powder, we can just sprinkle it in. A bit too much maybe. I think all these things works work with this with this cold wax as well. I can make it even messier if I add some ink. It's a bit scary. I'll just do it. Sorry about that, I ran out of battery. But now it's getting interesting, I think. Because look what happened with this ink. It just, it's beautiful. It's like a glaze. Although, I hate the paper. I threw in a little bit of water. No idea if that's possible. Just made it a little bit more fluid, but look, Ooh. that looks nice. And then I think I really have to let it dry thoroughly, and then you can scrape back. See, in your layer. Um, well, I do a little bit more. Yes, I do have another one. Oh, uh, why not? Um, no, it will be too messy probably, or not. Well, I don't mind. It's just about trying. This is the um, transparent burnt sienna. And as you know, I love transparent colors. I don't know if this is sup I'm supposed to do this, but I'm doing this. I love transparent colors in oils, but here it worked well too, look. Mm. Mm, cool. You know, I lost the beautiful turquoise. That doesn't matter. I can always bring it back, but I like this old... I hope on camera it's nice too, because maybe you think it looks really messy. To pick up some of the bring back some of the colors. And I don't know if this dries flat like the uh, alcohol inks, but then I, may, I imagine that we can just go over it.
see if you can always bring back the uh, turquoise. I think I have to dry, a little bit dry now. It's awfully wet. I still think it's a pity that it's not thicker. But I will try with them, um, I don't know, with the um, wax. The, um, no, not the wax, the uh, marble dust. to play with. I will let it dry and then I uh, will see what we maybe can do um, a face for a figure. I see a figure like here are the heads, the shoulders and the body. But I always see figures or faces. Okay I'm going to leave it here. This is my very first experiment with the um, water-based cold wax and uh, I must say I'm enjoying it. It has lots of possibilities for those who can't paint with uh, oil in oils. I don't think it will replace the um, the cold wax in oils because it has uh, the with the oils it has uh, a richer surface, more depth, but still you have beautiful effects in this one. And and I imagine that in the end, if you um, go over it with the uh, with the varnish or with the uh, maybe even a layer of cold wax medium for oils. You will have a beautiful finish. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to sign up because there will be more videos about painting in acrylics and cold wax medium.